Hello my wonderful subscribers. This is Active TV again for another update. Please subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed and please do not forget to turn on the notification bell. Mbadi ngolo Active TV le natale nan kwata ke pour kana kudo fanan jube. Al kana nyana ali subscribe channel to ning atral ma subscribe ali notification bell to click pour ning video nata wato wati. Al sa jeno nyameng al kana nyana al blano ma Instagram acctive.tv. I am also on Facebook, ACTIVE Space TV. Please do not forget to follow me on Instagram, ACCTIVE.TV. I am also on Facebook. Tribute to Honorable Abu Bakar Batambedu. Based on personal reasons, I had since 1st of June 2020 submitted my resignation as Attorney General and Minister of Justice to His Excellency President Adam Abau. It is with mixed emotions bringing these farewell tributes and wishing Batambedu best wishes but with real sadness as he leaves the government. Of all the attorney generals and minister of justice that I have known, Abu Bakar Batambedu stands out as preeminent example of one who never gives up. He never loses hope. He always cope with the praise that life as an attorney general and minister of justice attract at this difficult moment of our great nation. But Ambedu didn't come to the borough government to get the job, but he came to do the job. But Ambedu has been the keeper of the flame on subjects ranging from stretching international laws championing the right of Rohingyas against the Yammer legislative reforms to restoring public confidence in the administration of justice system in the country. Ba succeeded in gazetting a new draft constitution, the establishment of a truth reconciliation and reparation commission the establishment of the Gambia's first National Human Rights Commission and the establishment of the Jane Commission. I will now read what Honorable Abu Bakar Batambedu says during his farewell address because this makes me believe more that Abu Bakar Batambedu really believes in democracy. I now quote what Honorable Batambedu says Democracy is chaos. We will not like some of the things that have been said about us. We will not like the insult on social media. We will not like the unfair, unjustified criticism sometimes, but I personally, and I know as much as you prefer to live in this climate than the climate that we came from on the 1st of December. 2016. Um, Honorable Gambia Minister of Justice, President Barola Mansakunda Koto, Abadi Abubakar Batambedu Mbenya Jele Nyuwato Kono, Ala Risik Nesono Aole Tenda a Kabo a Masakunda Kono, Abubakar Batambedu. Aketa moti amu yalonko aya katabakele Gambia Banko kang katun kake atoni general ti Gambia Banko kang at this uh, present moment aketa uh, kule tumi yalonko akwale ata bulba ba 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 kelembe yolone bari abubakar ba tembedu aketa moti mi yalonko uh, mbe nyaka munje uh, mbe kakumol mulmoi abubakar ba tembedu aketa moti mi yalonko awakil tele kendeke and I can't more to me along co a car you saw in your book and the key a book are bad and better more than me along co a muka kamfa a brabe masakunda kono kuo be lata kang a kumol be fota la carola a buba gar bat and bedu multi me along co a single lole ka gambia dion ila nyanto nyanto me along co a eco president jame mumbe nun gambia banko kang sanji mwane mfula I gambe dingu la nyanto muntinya a president a baro nata wato muna a abubakar batambe duke a attorney general ti aning a minister of justice batambe duke katol mulke a kanyung kuol tamandi a truth reconciliation and reparation commission kalo gambia bankokang 
ay jane commission lo gambia banko kan nyidbe pour ka president yahya jame président kodom ben gambia banko kan ka tilimbal yal mulke pour ko le kis kis ay nafulol multinya anim mol mul final fada mol mu yalon ko yetajirente ya soto president jamel man sakunda kono abubakar batambe keta moti pour ka nyin kolbe kebe londi gambia banko kan nyin commissionol pour gambia dimol il a ñantol multinyata e se soto no ñamen abubakar batambe du keta moti momu yalon ko ay a banku dol final la a ñantol mu yalon ko et ñata banku dol final kan a keta moti mu yalon ko a singulo fol final se la a il a ñantol soto ay singulo dula jamale a manke gambia banko kan dambanti nga rohingya jele a abubakar batambe du ayo ko champion ñamen since the 5th of september there has been no armed clashes and there has been no clearance operations this is about justice and this is about fighting the cause of humanity ayo ko champion nyamen ku jamale ke duniya kono amanke gambia dambanti abubakar batambedu mole mati mu yalon ko alata democracy la le kende ke mune landi wo ko la abubakar batambedu ay diamo munke ala diamo laban Bra bola man sakunda kono ako Gambia nol ako democracy is chaos a democracy mkula di mialon ko a chocho kasia bakele a wuro fanan kasia ako tonya tonya kuma jamal le fote ma a social media kono kuma jamal le fote la carola han ko dol fanal bi yemu yalon ko a mulka e fo ila carola e maril muka a dalil wo dalil nat nan e muka dalil koy soto je ako bari ndel bebe la flale ngata re sabatirin nyin kusifa kono wala fisia yahya jamme ala sanji monim fula maraloti abubakar batambedu anyin kumofo ala diam labanto nyiyay tendi nala kende ke kende ke kende ke ko abubakar batambedu mole matimi yalon ko alata democracy la le kende ke kende ke kende ke the gambia will really miss you mr abubakar batambedu thanks for playing this important role for your dear country ambadi uh, wolo abubakar batambedu abedao danding asalonko gambia nol bala ko me ala le kendeke mole mati mi yalonko ate ala kato kele fo ala kato dante damen woto tonya tonya uh, abubakar batambedu be nyantale nga kafu nyoma nga duaye fo abodula wo se fisial tadula ti abita do ko do ko tala ase kairo soto je uh, ay ni sewo soto je ay todia soto je be dua wala kende ke kende ke kende ke atal mu yalon ko albe video jibe gang afnal sala miro fono le please share your opinion and please 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 let's join our hands together to pray for honorable abubakar batambedu this is active tv there is simply no price tag to this freedom the new gambia is therefore not about winners and losers we either succeed together or we fail together because as a nation we are bound together by a common destiny but failure is not an option and that is why we must persist and we must persevere especially in the face of adversity this is the burden of responsibility that we carry as pioneers of this chain every country on earth has its own set of challenges unique to its historical and political context and so does ours yes we cannot change this country through the wave of a magic wand but we can start somewhere we can start with what we have and preserve it and that is the peace in this country it is a national treasure that we must guard jealously for without peace there cannot be democracy or development or justice our challenge going forward is to make this peace sustainable and turn it into stability for our people and yes the choice is ours each and every one of us we can either choose to live in peace or not and we all have a role to play in this but especially the media the biggest threat to our peace and fledgling democracy is misinformation i implore the media to be mindful of your critical role 
in a fragile democracy such as ours. Do not turn your supporters in government against you by your own actions. Do not, under the guise of freedom of expression, ruin the lives and reputations of others simply because you can. In small communities like ours in this country, the consequences of publishing false information can be devastating. The people you write about have families too. Their kids go to school with other kids. Their spouses interact with others at work and at other public places. By all means, expose corruption and corrupt practices in government. But I encourage you to do so with hard facts. And to be fair to some of you, you do to your credit. It will only enhance your credibility. Do not allow those with a partisan political or narrow personal agenda to use you to smear others. Because when you do, you will also discourage honest and hardworking Gambians from accepting to serve in public office and consequently deprive this country of the best human resource talent that we need to develop our country.